Hey guys, this is Scope. Welcome back to Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus. So, uh, we just came back from defeating our seventh Colossus, Hydrus, the, um, sea serpent. Yeah, as you can see over there. So, as you might be able to tell, we're just about halfway done. One more, actually, after we beat this next Colossi, we will be exactly halfway done. Alright, and so, uh, Dr. Seuss up there just told us that the next Colossus is a tail trapped within a pail, and it crawls on the walls. So apparently today he's feeling very, uh, rhymey. So let's try to grab a dove. Oh, did we get it? Somebody said in one of the comments that actually grabbing the doves increases your... something. Increases your speed, or... I don't know. I, I never heard of that. I don't know. I'm not saying it's not true. I just never heard of it. Anyway, so we are going to head and fight that 8th Colossus. Uh, I forget what his name is, but... I'm sure I will have it in the title like always, or description or something. Anyways, so sorry I haven't uploaded some Shadow of the Colossus in quite a while, I mean, this game is just so epic, and I guess you could say I'm kind of delaying it, because once, I don't really want this game to be over, and, uh, you know, it's, it's just not that long of a game, sadly. I could drag it out as much as I want, but eventually yeah, all the good things must come to an end. Plus, I've got a, you know, I've got a lot of plans for the future, so best to just do it and have fun with this game while we can, right? Instead of kind of rushing it. Oh man, I'm having the like hiccups like crazy if my voice sounds weird. Alright, so it looks like we gotta go into this little alcove here. I don't think we've gone in here before. It looks quite ominous. I use that word loosely. I actually do. I use that word a lot in my LPs, I've noticed. Quite a few things I've noticed. I know some people I've heard, like, I've heard Nintendo Capri Sun say this, that he likes to watch his own videos, you know, or like fall asleep to him or whatever. And I never do that. I, it's it's kind of weird for me. I really can't stand watching my own videos. Like, it just seems like I'm being very pompous. Like, very, uh, you know, oh yeah, my videos are so good. I like to fall asleep to them and watch them. Ha ha ha. No, no, not really. I don't really like to watch my own videos. I, I, I just like to watch other people's. Like, I fall asleep to LPs all the time. I, I, every night, you know. It depends. It's always different who it is. Most recently, I've been falling asleep uh, and watching uh, HC Bailey's Chrono Trigger LP. And before that, I always like to watch um, Nintendo Capri Sun Super Mario Sunshine. That's probably my favorite LP of his. Right next to Majora's Mask. His Majora's Mask is probably my favorite. Actually, we have been over here before, I remember, because I actually pointed out this cave, but that wasn't the cave we wanted to go to at the time. And I think this is the cave we want to go to this time. But yeah, I like, to, I like to fall asleep to LPs, but not my own. That's just kind of weird. I don't really like hearing my own voice either. Especially because it'll... Ooh, look at this. This is effing beautiful. Let's just take a second and take this in. Look, we got a huge waterfall falling into the deep abyss. Yeah, you can fall down there, but you'll die. Just look at that effing waterfall, man. That, oh my god, this game is so beautiful. Yeah, and this is about as slow as Agro is going to walk along this path anyway, because he likes to be careful on little tiny paths. You can kick him as much as you want, but he's not really going to speed up. So that's fine. We got this weird little pillar here. So we'll just take in the atmosphere and look at the waterfall. Anyway, yeah, like I was saying, I just I really don't like hearing my own voice. It just seems pompous to me. I like to spend my time listening to other LPUs, you know, kind of contributing or not contributing, but uh seeing how they do things and you know, listening to it and it I think it helps make me better, but listening to my own stuff, I mean I don't think that's going to make me any better because that is me. That's me in the past. You're making yourself worse almost by doing that. You're, you're stunting your progress. But I guess people like Nintendo Capri Sun, who are, you know, all partnered and super famous, don't really need to try and improve that much. But, yeah, you know. Okay. Anyway, we come out in this nice little weird area over here. Let's jump off aggro because, as you can see, we got a lake we got across here. So I believe we want to head into that little doorway there we can't really see. Not too much sunshine on this side of the lake here. So let's swim across. Oh, wanderer, you swim. I'm sorry, I'm making it, I feel bad I'm making him swim while carrying a sword. Alright, so let's get a nice little underwater view here. So yeah, if you hold R1, he'll swim like this. Oh, there's a fish over there, as you can see. Barely. I don't know if that'll come out in the recording, but I see a fish right there. Oh, here's one right here, too. If you press R1, you can grab onto these guys. You know, if you press the grab button, but they're not coming too close to me. Let me see if I can grab this one. Come here, Vigi, Vigi, Vigi. Oh, there we go. You see that? Look at that. Yay, we're go. We're grabbing onto the fish's fin. That is just so epic. Look at me. I'm freaking 
fish riding, dude. I'm fish surfing. Fish surfing. Surfing USA. Do -do -do. Wander, you're supposed to be killing Colossus, Colossi and saving the girl and stuff. And you're over here riding fish. You're fish surfing, dude. I'm sorry, but that is just way too cool. <laughs> that is just awesome. I've never really done that before. I knew you could do it, but I've never really done it. That's badass. I think that's what I'm going to title this episode. I'm going to title it Fish Surfing. Usually I don't really think about what I'm going to title the episodes while I'm making the episode. But if I like something intense happens and I know that that's going to be like the biggest event of... Oh my god, Agro, how'd you get over here? Are you saying I could have rode over here the whole time? You bastard. Or did you just swim across the lake while I was fish surfing? Oh, well, either way, good boy, I guess. Yeah, you're awesome, Agro. Love ya. You are amazing. But I will kill you. Oh shit, he sees me. Look at him, he's like, no! <laughs> Revenge of aggro. Yeah, one day, I tell ya. <laughs> Boom! But yeah, like if something big happens in an episode and you know that that's gonna be the main part of the episode, then you just know that, like, that's the, uh. That's gonna be the title. Sometimes you just know. Wee! <laughs> Oh, I hear Agra out there freaking out. I hope he's not getting, like, raped or something. That's what it sounds like. Well, I don't... I mean, maybe he went fish surfing, too. Oh, yeah, we got these big pillars. Cool. Oh, we haven't had to do this one in a while. No, no, what are you doing? Come on. Wander. Damn it, I did it again. See, I... I'm still very unclear about that. It's like... So you gotta press... You gotta press triangle to turn around. Then do you let go of triangle and R1, or do you just press triangle? I don't know. I don't use this move enough in the game to actually know. Yeah, turn around. Oh, okay, yeah, you keep holding R1, you just let go of triangle. Because if you let go of R1 and triangle, you're just going to fall. Okay, I think I've got it. It's a little too late now, but... Aww. Yeah, who cares? We got hurt. Big deal. Alright, so have we traveled through enough? I'm pretty sure we're going the right way. I mean, it's at this point, it's... A little obvious. Yeah, we're here. We're there, here. Yeah, this this is actually a really good battle. I don't really like fighting this guy because he's... I don't know. There's so many ways you can fight him. But yep, here we are. And when he said the tail in the pail, he was referring to the pail as this big, huge coliseum. Yeah, we get to fight a colossus in a coliseum. And there he is. That's the tail. And he crawls on the walls, you better believe it. He will crawl up up and down this Coliseum and tear you up. So yes, we get to do an epic Coliseum battle. This reminds me of the movie Gladiator. I freaking love that movie. So as you'll notice, he doesn't quite see us yet. Uh, you can look down at him through these windows. Uh, you can even shoot him if you want, but uh, I'd hold off. So as you'll notice, there are stairs over here, so we can travel all the way from the top to the bottom. So what I want to do is from about... Let's see. From about right here, I want to sh either shoot him with an arrow or whistle and call him up here. Uh, but I find, oh, I find shooting him with the arrow to be much more effective. Where is he? Oh my god, can I even get that angle? Let's just scoot over a little bit. There he is. Let's shoot him right in the freaking cranium. Oh yeah, he felt that. And also, this guy will shoot electrical bolts up at you. And if you're in the vicinity of where the electrical bolts linger, because they kind of linger there, um, it will deplete your HP so quickly you won't even know what happened. So be very wary when uh, attacking this guy. Like, or you know, don't just stand around once you've alerted him to your presence, because that could be bad for everybody. So this guy's gonna start climbing the walls up here looking for you. And what you want to do is climb down to where he doesn't see you and uh, shoot two of his legs. And he will promptly fall very far back down if you shoot two legs at the same side. So then you need to quickly get to the bottom, bust out your sword, get on this guy, and kick some ass. And he's not gonna stay here forever too. You'll probably only get like two stabs and so 
go big or go home. Oh yeah, this is like right in his penile region. I feel very bad, but not really. So as you can see, he's starting to flip over. When he flips over, it's gonna hurt you a lot, so. Okay, so that was the last one of that weak spot. And as you can see, he's got another one right there. Now, we don't wanna be down here when this guy flips over. So you wanna get back up the stairs and start making your way back towards, not the top, but pretty close to the top, like where I was. Uh, as you saw, parts of the Colosseum will be broken open. You'll have, they'll have big openings. That's generally where I like to shoot him from. And then if you're smart, unlike me, you'll probably like uh, run around and go to a different staircase. Because as you go down that same staircase, he might see you through these holes going down and he might not climb all the way to the top and you won't be able to shoot him. Now that little thing you just heard that zoom zoom zoom. Yeah, right there. That's him shooting his electrical bolt. So when you hear that, just keep moving. But what that also means is he probably saw you, so... Let's target him. Oh my god! Wander, hold on! No, he's gonna shoot! He's gonna shoot! Don't let him see you. Holy crap, that was bad. Alright, so let's shoot him one more... Oh, missed. Oh, I missed! Alright, let's shoot him one more time. Alright, he knows we're here. Now, as you saw, he can see us from right there pretty easily, so we're gonna try to run to a different staircase and head down. But you don't want to take too long as well, because if you do, then he once he gets to the top and sees you're not there, where you shot him from, he's going to, you know, uh, start going back down or start looking for you, and you don't want that, because if he goes back down and you're down there, you're fooked. Oh my god, oh yeah, he saw us, he totally saw us. As you saw, he just shot that electrical crap at us. Oh my god, yeah, look at that, look at that, okay. See, see how my HP was depleting so fast there? And I was only in it for a second. So he's on to it. Oh my god. Yes, we're done. We're done for. No. Wander, get out of there, dude. Oh my god, did you see how fast my HP went down? Yeah, he's totally on to us. We're kind of screwed here now. He's caught on to us. He saw us in the opening when I went to go shoot for him. So yeah, I mean, yeah, we're all the way down at the bottom now. Another thing you could do too is go to the bottom and then try to shoot that guy from down here. I don't have a good angle here. Oh, we got one of his arms apparently though. Yeah, but they will they will regenerate pretty fast, so be careful. Okay, we got two of his arms. We got his two front arms, so it looks like he's gonna fall. I believe if you just get any two of his arms or any two of his limbs, you're good. Yeah, I guess we have to get on him from the back here. So let's go for that other weak spot right up here. And shazam! Oh yeah, that feels good, doesn't it? Doesn't it? All right, let's see if we can't kill him now because, oh yeah, he's done. Oh yeah, got him. So that guy can be kind of tough seeing as how his attacks are devastating and it's really hard to get him knocked down, but uh, yeah, he's he's not that hard. I personally, I think the theme of the fight is really cool and how he does, you know, something different with climbing on the walls and all that. And uh, he's kind of good, he's kind of good. So it's, you know, it's kind of a hard fight, so I don't personally really like it that much. Probably just because it's hard. <laughs> you know, I don't like to be challenged, but... Yeah. It's it's a good concept. Good boss fight, but... Uh, not my cup of tea. I much prefer the, you know, big battles. The us versus... Like, me versus a big two-legged guy. You know, one-on-one, -on -one, no obstacles in a big open arena. So anyway, what time are we at? Yeah, we're at 15 minutes. Okay, so we're going to save here, and I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus. Thank you for watching, everybody, and have a great day.